Ultra video parity, oi, Apple up to no good. <laughs> this time, they're having problems with their iOS 10 release. Today, on Tuesday, Apple claims it was only affecting a small handful of users the first hour, but who knows if there's accuracy to that or not. But what is key is that they claim that they have a solution. You may receive an error when you upgrade your iPod or iPad asking you to hook it up to a PC or a Mac because the upgrade to iOS 10 failed. If you have not performed upgrading your device to iOS 10, definitely back up your device. But you should have already done that or you should already know that. But not to lecture. If you can't update or restore your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, Apple stipulates you can put your iOS device in recovery mode and then restore it with iTunes. Another caveat is that you're going to need to make sure that your most current version of iTunes is up to date and we will get to that. If iTunes doesn't recognize your device or says it's in recovery mode, you might have to use the recovery mode. The Apple logo on your screen sits there forever and ever and ever. Now it can take a couple of minutes to over an hour for the update of iOS 10 so just caveat emptor and then you see the connect to iTunes screen I will include these URLs in this YouTube video description so that you can quickly access them if you need to perform this recovery mode now this is what you may see for a while the Apple logo now, even in this article, Apple stipulates that it can take anywhere from a minute to over an hour or an hour. It just depends on. It depends on how many files that it, it needs to update. So just be aware of that. I would allow, I would say around an hour, maybe a little bit longer, or just the rest of the day. And if this does not change, you can also periodically see if this changes. If this changes, it depends on how much data and how many files are getting updated. If this is moving, if it keeps progressing, then I would just leave it until it's complete. But if it's been hours and hours or a day or overnight and this hasn't budged, then you're probably SOL for <laughs> lack of a better term. But at least Apple has a solution and anything else in this progress bar? No, just basically that. Continuing. Now, you may need to put your device in recovery mode and set it up again. You want to make sure that you're using the latest version of iTunes. So if you've deduced and reduced that you are one of the affected users or the upgrade isn't going as planned and the progress bar it's been a few days or a few hours and this is not budging you are going to try to use the recovery mode option but you first want to make sure that you have the latest version of iTunes on Mac or, or PC so go to this link and then it shows you quick instructions on how to upgrade your version of iTunes on Mac and Windows and I will include this link in this YouTube video description if iTunes is already open then you want to close it and then connect your device to your computer and then open iTunes but that to me that's after you make sure you have the latest version of iTunes since you are trying to upgrade to iOS 10 you're gonna need a computer borrow your significant others a friend or you may even have to go to a, an Apple store now while your device is connected and you've got iTunes open you're going to have to force restart now that's how to to set up your device Here's a way t to how to restart your iPhone, iPad, or iPad Touch. It's got quick instructions. This is a force restart in case your iOS 10 upgrade failed. 
floor, it's frozen. How to start? Press and hold the sleep wake button until the red slider appears. Number two, drag the slider to turn your device completely off. Number three, after the device turns off, press and hold the sleep wake button again until you see the Apple logo. Here's a force restart. Now that's a restart. My bad, that's a restart. You might need to perform a force restart. You should force restart your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch as a last resort, definitely. Try, try other tactics instead of a force restart, but if that upgrade completely froze up, then you probably have no recourse other than a force restart. What you do is press and hold the sleep wake button and hold buttons for at least 10 seconds until you see the Apple logo. So they even show you which buttons to hold down for 10 seconds. That's a force restart. You may need to do that. Oh, it even showed you how here. Then you'll see the recovery mode screen, hopefully. Number four, when you see the option to restore or update, choose update. And then iTunes will try to reinstall iOS 10 without erasing data, always a good thing. And you should wait until the iTunes finishes downloading software. Now they stipulate that if download of the software takes more than 15 minutes and device exits recovery mode you'll need to repeat these steps and choose restore instead of update so they are claiming that you want to try an update first it's possible that I'm thinking maybe the iOS 10 upgrade got to a certain point there's enough files that it will continue on something happened where it lost connection or it just stopped so if you try to update again it'll just resume operation if that doesn't work then you want to try a restore you use the same steps only this time you choose restore so if update doesn't work then try a restore number five either the update or restore will hopefully complete and then after that's done then you want to set up your device and then they stipulate that if you did back up your device with iTunes or iCloud and, and you chose the restore option then you can go and restore from your backup so then finally this is how to get started I'm not gonna go through this all because there's what eight or nine or ten main points but and I will include a link to all of these URLs in this YouTube video description so you don't have to worry and I will try to include them in order in order that this article stipulates and in the order I went through not the New World Order, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyways, not to digress about that stuff. Get started with iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. This just shows you how to set up your iPhone, iPad, iPad Touch like the first time you buy it or after a major iOS update. So it's got step one, step two, select your country, step one, turn on your device, step three, get online, choose location services, step four, set up touch ID and create a passcode, number five, restore, or transfer your apps and data. So if you use the restore option, then this is when you would restore your data from backup. It just restores all the apps that you had and then data like I would, you know, contacts and etc. Then number six is you sign in with your Apple ID and set up your iCloud drive if you have one. Set up Siri. Choose settings for app analytics. And then finally, number nine, finish up. That's it. So Apple claims that there were only a few, I don't know, a hundred or a few hundred, whatever, whatever the numbers are. It could be far greater than that. They claim there was initially users within the first hour that tried to upgrade to iOS 10 on their iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, and no bueno muy mal, many of them started receiving a common, I think, error asking you to hook up your device to a PC or Mac running iTunes. Now, Apple claims that they have rectified that situation, and they're not aware of any other users having problems upgrading to iOS 10, but you just never know. This 
could be a problem in the future. You know, I'm um, assuming not everybody's going to upgrade every you know, their devices, every device today, are they? And then you just never know if other users may have problems in the future. So this is how you rectify the problem with upgrading to iOS 10. Adios.